Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we're gonna spawn the players in the right area. Okay, so if it is team one, it will be on one side, and if it's team two, it will be on the other side. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our game to our game view. Let's focus up on our environment. Here it is. Okay. So in PUBG TDM team 1 uh, spawn right there and team 2 spawn right here okay or you can say the red and blue team so let's start from here first of all okay what we're gonna do is right here we're gonna create an empty game object let's name this as spawn area 1 okay and in here we're going to create an empty game object we will name this as one duplicate it three times name this as two three and four okay to all of them let's add an icon by the uh, red color or let's just uh, make it blue color okay because on this side the blue team will be spawned okay select the one and actually select all of them and move them to the ground like this okay move it right here to the ground okay so i think it is on the ground okay so player i mean one spawn point will be right here let me select one and move it a little bit right here then spawn point two will be right here okay let me move it a little bit on this side then let's move the three spawn point right here okay and the four will be then right there okay so this is this spawn area one is uh, team one area okay now we can simply uh, duplicate this and now let's name this as spawn area two and select all of the spawn points and now this time let's color it as red and then move this spawn area two to the other side okay here it is let's move it right here okay and also uh, we want to rotate them to the front side so that when the player spawn the player will be looking in that direction okay so if we check it out as you can see they are on on that side okay uh, so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this spawn area two and rotate it on 180 so that the forward vector is in that direction and then if you check it out as you can see it moved to that point I mean it moves out of the area so you can now move it in again okay and if you see all of them the forward vector is now in the forward direction let's select it okay here it is so let me move it a little bit right here and now they are looking good let's move it a little bit in the forward direction and that is all we need to do okay so now we have spawn area one spawn area two make sure that you remember this name okay now we can change back to the menu then open up your player controller manager and let's now spawn the players okay so what we're gonna do is as you know that in the previous video we created this method assign uh, player to spawn area okay so we're gonna work on this now 
so first of all as you know that we have created spawn area 1 and 2 so we need to find that game objects when we uh, when we move to our game scene okay so for now let me cut this from here okay and then let's find the spawn areas by their name so we're gonna create a game object by the name of spawn area one this is gonna be equals to uh, game object dot find and we need to find the spawn area one okay then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some space paste that line on which we spawn the player okay and leave this as it is then let's copy this paste it down below change this to spawn area 2 and this to spawn area 2 as well okay and make sure that this name is same as you name your spawn area in the game scene okay then after this we gonna then check that if these are not null okay so we're gonna say if the spawn area is null or the spawn area 2 is null then we're gonna print out a message so that we know that they are null okay so debug dot log error and we will say spawn area not found then we're gonna simply say return because we don't want to then spawn the players if there is no spawn area now after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a empty uh, transform by the name of spawn point okay and now we gonna uh, spawn that players which are on team one in the spawn area one and uh, which are on the team two we gonna spawn them in the spawn area two okay so uh, right here we gonna say that if the team of the player is equals to one then as i told you we're gonna uh, spawn the uh, player in the spawn area one but as you know that in the spawn area one we have four different spots okay so we're gonna choose a random spawn point from the spawn area one children's okay so uh, let's say spawn area uh, spawn point actually and the spawn point will be equals to spawn area one dot transform dot child actually get child okay so transform area one dot transform uh, actually spawn area one dot transform dot get child we're gonna say random dot range we're gonna select a, a random uh, child uh, from the spawn area one okay and that random uh, will be equals to the spawn point of the player okay so spawn area one dot transform dot child count okay simple as this now if it is uh, the player team is team two then the spawn point will be equals to the spawn area two and right here type spawn area 2 as well simple as that okay then if a uh, spawn point is then found okay so you're gonna say if the spawn point is not null it means that if we found a spawn point or you can say if we assign a spawn point now we're gonna instantiate or you can say spawn the player on that spawn point okay so copy that code and paste it in here and uh, now in here we're gonna say control equals to photon network dot instantiate we're gonna take it from the photon prefab folder the player prefab and now instead of factor 3.0 
we're gonna say spawn point dot position okay and also uh, instead of quaternion dot identity now we're gonna say spawn point dot rotation okay and we're gonna pass zero for the z axis and then we're gonna say new object and this should be the same i think yes and then we also want to debug a message when a player is instantiated so that we know that yes it works and we're gonna say debug.log instantiated player controller at spawn point and then we're gonna add a else condition so if else uh, the spawn point is null then we're gonna print a message as well and that message should be debug.log error and we're gonna say no available spawn point for team and we're gonna show that team number okay so when we are uh, instantiating the local player we already call this uh, method and pass a player team to it now right here when we are uh, assigning all of the team to all of the players now we also want to uh, instantiate all of the players on their specific spawn points as well so now we can remove that comment okay and right here we're gonna say assign player to spawn area and this time we're gonna pass this team to it okay so now all of the player will be spawn as well and right here the local player will be spawn as well so i think we are actually now good to go okay if you save the script get back to unity okay and let's build the game and test it out uh, if it works or not okay so let's click next create a room team one and from this pc it should be team two all right let's start the game now as you can see on this player it was team two so we are assigned in team two area as you can see okay and if we check the other pc now as you can see we are spawn in the team one area okay let's walk towards that other player and see if that player is there okay so here it is this is the player okay as you can see uh, that player was team one so he is assigned in the team one area and from this pc we were on team two so we were uh, spawn in the team 2 area okay let's damage the player as you can see the player took damage okay now as you can see that player is on team 2 okay so uh, we are assigning in the proper team 1 team 2 area points okay and with this done let's end this video right here